Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I want to talk today about character transformation. This is the, what comes after know thyself. Know thyself is not enough. Just knowing yourself is not enough. You have to transform yourself. You have to make yourself a conscious choice. Your personality is as it exists at the end of step one uh, and going into step two is primarily a product of happenstance, of coincidence, of circumstance as opposed to choice. In step one, you've taken a look at the personality. Well, first, most importantly in step one, you've learned to differentiate between mind and brain. And by brain, I mean uh, the habit-based personality. Uh, the habit-based responses to the universe, okay? And by mind, you know, you, you... It is the mind that has analyzed the brain-based personality. It is the mind that has sat in the quiet, in the emptiness. It is the mind that focuses itself upon an idea and it is the brain that follows, that then participates in the thinking of that idea. It is the mind that observes the brain. That says what's going on here. Okay, the mind is that observer, that internal observer. It's Basically, it's you, the intentional part of yourself, which differentiates from the personality, which is basically a habitual, reactionary, responding, um, you know, entity that is not exactly, at this point, matching the mind, the who you are. So step two and beyond is about taking that habitual personality that you've just examined, that you've gotten to know, and changing it into something intentional from your heart, from your innermost being. You want to bring that out and make new habits out of these old habits. The character transformation is about habits, about changing habits. A negative character trait has at its root, at its origin, a valid need that you experienced usually as a child and you responded to that need in equally childish ways. Ways that weren't really intentional, but had to do with the culture you were brought up in, the family you were brought up with, the, the surroundings that told you these are the ways that you can respond to that need. You must choose somewhere in this very specific range of options. And so you did. And it became a habit, which now is the root of your personality. These old habits formed without your consent, really. Okay? That's growing up. This is what shapes us as we're growing. This is how we are shaped. 
We develop these habits of response and reaction. Okay, so that's what you that's what you took note of in your mirrors. That set of habitual reactions. And now with the character transformation, we are going to change those habits, those negative habits, into positive habits that meet that same essential original need, but in ways that an adult would meet it. You know, in the ways that you, as a fully formed being, want to meet that need in a positive fashion. So, it's all about taking a habit, you know, and spitting it back out as something new. We're changing the habit. We're not eliminating things. We're changing them. Okay? We're positivizing the personality. It's very simple. Now, I, really, that axiom, know thyself. The root of hermetic practice, basically, know thyself. The only way to truly know yourself is if you change yourself. If you craft yourself, yourself, <laughs> as an adult, if you intentionally create or craft your personality so that it truly reflects who you are, that's the only way that you truly know yourself. And there's, there's layers to this knowing. At the beginning, it's a very superficial knowing of yourself because you're dealing just with those habitual aspects of yourself. You're starting to learn more about the mind and how that is your essential self. But still there's so much more to learn. You go through these layers that get deeper and deeper and deeper over time. And I say over time because this is this is a habit that you need to establish for the rest of your life. As a hermetic, you are always aware of yourself. And that's something we touch upon in step one, that self-awareness throughout the day. Well, ultimately, we have to take it farther than that even, to a continuous state of self-awareness, so that you are always, you always have this sort of separate perspective inside that you are observing yourself. You are observing that habitual part of yourself that responds and making sure that it is you who responds, not some unintentional habit. Okay? You want intentional habits from here forth. You know, from here forward, we're, we're wanting intentional habits, not unintentional habits that come from outside, but habits that come from inside and truly serve us, you know, that truly meet our inner needs. So, how do you go about that? Well, Barden presents a whole bunch of techniques that you need to employ. <laughs> um, and you should devote them, and starting in step two, devote everything to the character transformation. All these techniques that you have to work with should be focused on your character transformation, because this is the most important part of initiation, is that you positivize and intentionalize your character and 
you know, like I said, it goes deeper and deeper. This point is the astral character. Next time it's going to be the mental character, okay? And that's a much deeper reality. But, okay. So the techniques that Bardon suggests are the magic of air, breathing in the air, and you breathe in um, the idea that you are trying to transform your negative trait into. Let's go back. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's go back. So, you have a negative trait in your black mirror that you want to transform. So, you need to meditate very deeply on this trait and discover, if you can, that root need, that positive root need at the bottom of this trait. You know, what need does this trait try to meet? And you've got to be absolutely honest with yourself and frank and real with yourself in that examination to really get down to what is the root need. Because it may seem silly to you as an adult, just ridiculous as an adult, but it was at one time a root need, and it probably still is a need in there somewhere that you can meet, okay? So, you look at this negative trait for what it really is, not the manifestation of it so much, but the real meaning below it, below the surface got to penetrate below the surface. So, now you need to decide a positive alternative for that negative trait. You, the, the new habit that you want to establish that will meet that need, that core need, in a positive way. In a way that you decide to need it. Okay? So, there's this meditative process that you have to go through with your negative trait first. Get the, the root need and then develop a positive alternative that you want to replace the negative habit with. Okay? So once you have that, you can use these other magics. The magic of air. You uh, infuse the air with that positive uh, alternative. Either develop a, a short phrase that expresses it, which is good because you want to use that in your affirmations, okay? Um, a positive phrase or just the idea itself into the air and inhale it, etc. Magic of breathing, okay? You can also combine this here in step two with the vital energy that you're inhaling. You know, that potentiates even more the impact of this alternate idea. It programs your brain, okay? You're working with your brain here. It programs your brain to accept uh, that uh, idea. It implants it, as it were, and it will flower, having implanted it there. So then you use the magic of water. Again, infusing the water with this idea, this positive alternative. And then the magic of food. So all the food you eat brings that idea, that positive alternative, into your being. And I would say, use the magic of fire as well, and be inventive. Uh, you can write the negative trait down on a strip of paper and then burn it. Letting go of the negative trait and adopting the positive trait. It's, use your imagination for all four elemental types of magic. Um, <clears throat> then you have auto-suggestion. 
And this should be the focus of all of your auto-suggestion for the time being. From step two through to step four, maybe. Just focus on the character transformation. And, you know, put that positive alternate uh, habit into your mind, into your brain. Take it in your mind, into your brain as you go to sleep. Bring it into your mind the first thing in the morning and stick it in your brain to start the day. Okay? So it's there in your brain. <clears throat> okay. So, these are the magical techniques that you can use during this process of transforming the negative trait. But, the real magic, the real work, occurs in the moment, in the present moment. So you're going on in your day, and suddenly this negative trait erupts and spews itself all over the world. And you have to be self-aware enough to recognize that that is what's happening. Okay, whoa, the negative trait just got away, it just escaped. Let me draw it back for a minute. You have to then, in that moment that the negative trait manifests itself in real life, in real time, you have to say, whoa, stop. And you have to stop. You have to stop giving energy to that negative trait, just stop in the moment and say to yourself, okay, the negative trait has erupted. I need to substitute my positive alternative. Now that has to be unbiased, that judgment. Oh, okay, it's happened. You just have to accept that it's happened. It will happen. I mean, so big deal. Now you can change it. Now is when you have the power to change that habit into the new habit, the negative habit into the positive habit. But you must do that without being angry or disgusted or anything like that. It's just statement of fact, okay? Okay, the negative trait has escaped. I'm drawing it back and instead... I'm manifesting in some way my positive alternative habit. That thing that I've been telling myself in the auto-suggestion, in the magic of, of the elements. And, okay? You have to substitute this new habit. And you do that every time the negative trait comes up. Simple as that. That is how you change a negative trait into a positive trait. You've positivized this portion of your personality. And you do that often enough, frequently enough, every time it emerges, and suddenly, well... Maybe not so suddenly, but it will stop emerging. The positive alternative will become the habit of your response instead of that negative. It's that easy. It's that simple. You just do it often enough and it replaces. Because it's meeting the same need. You're taking the energy from the negative trait, and it's built up quite a bit of energy over the years, decades, that you've been exercising that negative trait. It is an egregore of its own, essentially. And you're redirecting that energy into the positive alternative. And it goes gladly. You know, it meets the same need. So it, 
So the character transformation is really very simple. It's sometimes a struggle, especially when we feel impatient that this damn negative trait just keeps coming up. But all we have to, the, the only way to prevent it from keeping coming up is if you transform it into the positive alternative. You take the energy out of it, it shrivels up, and the positive alternative has all this energy behind it. The positivized personality is by far the stronger personality, the more stable personality, because it has all of the energy that was invested in the negative personality is invested in it, plus the energy you're giving it in this creation, this transformation process. So it's much more powerful and much more stable. The transformed personality can uh, weather pretty much anything that life throws at it. So, that is character transformation. And from step two onward, devote yourself to transforming your character. Because it can be a long process, or it can be a fairly quick process. But, be careful. Don't assume that, oh, I changed that just by thinking about it. You know, that's a trap, because it doesn't work. You've got to work at it. You've got to get your hands in there and get them dirty and grapple with it wrestle it a little bit, and persuade it, and nurture it, nurture it. If it's new, nurture it. Keep it healthy and growing. So it's sort of like gardening, you know? You got to weed out the negative bits and get them all healthy and positive and growing big and strong. And the point is to truly express yourself. That self that you have gotten to know. And you now know it once you start transforming it. You know it as the creator instead of the subject. Self truly reflects that inner essence. That's the point. Bringing that inner essence out into the world. That is initiation. Bringing the inner essence out into the world in a positive way. So... <clears throat> That's, I think, at this point, <laughs> all I have to say about character transformation. Have fun. I mean, it, it's so joyous. That moment that you realize you have tra truly transformed an aspect of your character for the first time. That's like, wow, holy shit, I did this. I changed a part of myself into a better part of myself. This part that I despised is now a part that I gladly participate in. That's so empowering, and it will carry you forward. I mean, it just empowers you to carry on once you have that initial success.
and it will come before you know it. It will. Just keep at it. Go at it. Be absolutely committed to change, and it's inevitable. Okay? Good luck. Bye-bye.